Welcome to Robinson Foundry. My name is Seth Robinson, and in this video, I'm going to go through the process of sand casting a 6 inch bronze megalodon tooth. For this casting, I used a resin copy of an actual fossilized megalodon tooth as a pattern to make a sand mold. The sand I used is called Petrobond. It's made up of a very fine grained silica sand, bentone clay, and an oil binder. To start making the mold, I pressed the tooth into the sand and then packed sand down around it. I then dug around the edge of the tooth to find the parting line. This is a dividing line between the two parts of the mold. This way, the tooth could be removed from the mold, leaving behind a perfect impression without causing the sand to break away. I then drilled a hole to pour the metal into, called a sprue, and channels for the metal to flow through, called runners. I also added vent holes to allow smoke and gases to escape through as the mold is filled with metal. To fill the mold, I needed about 3.5 pounds of bronze, consisting of 90% copper and 10% tin. First, I had to melt the copper which took about 20 minutes in my homemade furnace. Once the copper was melted, I added the tin, which instantly melted in the molten copper. This is because tin has a melting point of about 450 degrees Fahrenheit, or 230 degrees Celsius, while copper has a melting point of about 1984 degrees Fahrenheit, or 1,085 degrees Celsius. I let the bronze heat up to about 2,100 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,150 degrees Celsius, and then carefully poured the metal into the mold. Thank you. 
After letting the mold cool for a few minutes, I opened it up to see how the casting turned out. Next I went to work cutting off the excess metal, and then spent a few hours filing and sanding the tooth smooth. Once I was happy with how it looked, I very carefully applied a clear coat to the enamel portion of the tooth. I used liver of sulfur to create a dark patina on the root portion of the tooth. It was like magic watching the liver of sulfur only affect the part of the tooth that I did not apply the clear coat to, while the rest remained bright and shiny. The final step was to coat the whole thing with a protective finish, and the tooth was done. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, tell me what you think in the comments, and subscribe for future projects. Thanks for watching.